Hello my friends, today we're going to take a deep dive on the new Vocal Chain plugin in Cubase 13 and I'm going to show you how you can get the most out of this plugin. I'm going to show you everything that it does because this might be the only vocal plugin you will ever need. Let's check it out. After watching this video, I want you to be able to use this new amazing plugin in Cubase 13 to its full potential. This is a plugin that has pretty much everything that you need when it comes to vocal processing. And when I say anything, I actually mean it. I'm very hard pressed to find something that this plugin is missing when it comes to getting a great vocal sound. If you want to see how I process vocals, I've done two videos in the past. I'm going to try and link them right here or down below where I show you using different plugins how to achieve a great vocal sound. And all of these techniques are distilled into this vocal chain plugin. Everything that I show in these videos are here as well. And this might be because I also had a little bit of involvement when it comes to the design of this plugin. I think Steinberg did a great job with this one. This could easily be a paid plugin that Steinberg could release standalone. Let's check it out. I'm going to try two styles of vocal today so I can show you how this plugin can work on different music genres. I'm going to start with a very smooth, female vocal. Let's play it. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que and I'm going to process this vocal only using the vocal chain plugin. Now, the first thing I would do, especially if you're planning to use the reverb and the delays and the imager is I would go here to my channel because this is a mono vocal and I would turn it into stereo. I'm going to click on this and now the channel is in stereo. And now I can take advantage of my imager, my delay and my reverb. Now, let's start working with this plugin. The first thing that I want to tell you, and this is something that I took into consideration when I created presets for this plugin as well, because you'll be able to find my presets in this plugin, is that all my presets start with the input gain at zero. And this is because I want the user to gain stage their vocals so that every one of the modules is hit the right way, the compressors, the DSs, and so on and so forth. So the first thing I would do when I start processing a vocal is set up my input gain. And you want your level to be around here, so around the green area. So let's try. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. So the first thing that this plugin does for you is help you with your gain staging. If your vocal is too hot, you need to bring down this lighter. If your vocal is too quiet, you can just bring it up. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata. I think this should be okay. Now, let's move on to all the different sections. I'm going to start with a clean section. This is exactly what I'm doing when I'm mixing vocals every single time. So I start with a cut filter. In this case, this is a very full vocal. It's an alto voice. So I'm not going to filter too much. But we have the filter right here. We can start filtering straight away. I would start with a 12 dB low cut filter. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu... Now, if I want to make this vocal a little bit darker, I can just go like this. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. And this will give me a more of a vintage sound. Now, I wouldn't use this every time. In this case, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go straight to the next one. And next we have a gate. Now, in this case, I don't think I'm going to use Soy it. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El because I want to have all the breaths and the natural sound of the voice. So I'm not going to use the gate in this case. Then we have a pitch correction. In this case, for this specific vocal, I'm not going to use it, but let me show you very quickly how it sounds. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. Eh. So for pop vocals, I would use this, you know, add mild correction for my pop vocals. The next thing we have is the de and this one is, of course, 
what the name suggests. This is the first deesser stage that we have in this plugin because we have another deesser later on. Now, this will take care of the very first sibilance before we get to the compressor. Now, I want to say here that one of the things that this plugin won't do for you is the manual deessing process that I talk about in this video that I'm going to link right here. I still believe that this is the way to go if you want to have the ultimate deessing experience and you want your vocals to be as perfect as they can. But still, if you don't want to go through this, you can use the deesser. So what I like to do with the deesser is I like to turn off the automatic mode and I like to go and set up my range here. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. And this is quite good, so I'm going to park it right there. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dynamic filter. And if you've been following my channel and if you've been watching my videos, you know that when it comes to a nice polished vocal sound, I always go for dynamic filters. I used to do this with the frequency Q and Q bass, but now everything is right there. And you will see that <laughs> the exact same recipe is on this plugin. So <laughs> I'm smiling, but there's a reason why I'm smiling. So I love this. Um, the first thing I would do is I would tame the boominess of the vocal. Most of the times, especially if the vocalist is very close up to the mic, you will have the proximity effect and this might make the vocal a little bit boomy, especially in a pop arrangement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my first dynamic EQ first. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. La espada que guarda el ca... So this takes care of the boominess, um, if there is any. And now I'm going to take care of the harshness. I mean, this vocal is quite smooth, so we don't need to do much, but I'm going to show you never Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. So as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm setting the frequency and then I'm pulling down the threshold so that it only catches any one of these peaks when they come. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. And why am I doing this instead of using an EQ? This is because when you use dynamic EQs, your vocal is more alive, you don't butcher it. I strongly suggest you use dynamic EQs for vocals, for cleaning up vocals before you get to the EQ. If you have a frequency that's constantly there and it's painful, then of course use an EQ. But if you need, to, as you can see here, for example, let's check out the low mids here. Soy el fuego que See, the fuego is, is a specific frequency that I want to tame. I don't want this to happen all the time. I only want this to happen when the vocal gets a little bit boomy. So that's why I'm setting the threshold so that it only catches these notes. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que See, when it gets louder, it gets ducked. So this is why I love dynamic EQs and this is now built in. Let's move on to the next stage and the next stage is the first compressor. Now here is where we have a lot of flexibility because Vocal Chain gives you the choice from four different compressors. We have the Vox Comp which is designed for vocals, we have Transparent, we have Extreme which I would use for parallel processing. And we also have Black Valve. This gives you a very warm, saturated sound if you want to. So in this case, I'm going to use, let's try the Black Valve, okay? Let's see how it sounds. And the only thing I need to do is bring up the compress knob right here. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. La espada que guarda el ca... Now, if you want to do some gain compensation, you can, of course, use your output right here. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. Now, here's the thing that might happen. See, when I added the compressor, now the S's are way more prominent. That's why I always suggest that you do your DSing manually. But 
if you feel that the S's are so prominent, what we can do already, there is another DS right here and we can tame this, don't worry about this, but I want to show you something else. If I want, I can move this deesser from there to just after the compressor, see? Like this. And now the deesser is going to be after the compressor. Let's check it out. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. So depending on what your source material is, you might want to move the sections. You only need to click and drag and then you can change them. Now I've taken care of the S's again. The next module is the EQ. Here is again where we have a lot of control. We have three different types of EQs that we can use. We have Studio, which is the classic Cubase EQ, but now we also have the P1A EQ, which is a Poltec emulation, and we also have the M5, which is great when you want to take care of your mid-range. Let's listen to them. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel, soy el agua que mata tu sed, el castillo, la torre, yo soy la espada que guarda el caudal, tu el aire que so if I want to add a little bit of body and warmth to this vocal, I can use the M5 EQ. And if I want to correct some of the mid-range, I can use the attenuation here. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel, soy el agua que mata tu sed, el castillo, la torre, yo soy la espada que guarda el caudal, tu el aire que respiro yo. See, I made it a little bit warmer. It depends on what kind of sound you're looking for your vocal. Let's go for the P1. EQ. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata. Now, if I want to, I can bring the deesser after the EQ. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. And actually, this might also help the deesser a little bit to find those S's. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed el castillo la torre yo soy la espada que guarda el caudal tu el aire que respiro yo y la luz de here if i had a pop vocal i would probably do this i would use the attenuation here go a little bit like that quite low and this way i would have my vocal a little bit cleaner in a more of a pop arrangement. In this case, actually, I like when I boost it. Soy Let's listen. El fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy la espada que guarda el cal. And you can hear how the curves of these EQs sound really complementary to the vocal. So. This is my EQ. I'm going to do this right now. It doesn't matter. The next thing that we have after we have completed a clean section is our character section. And I want you to see this uh, video almost like a sequel to the other videos that I've done. In one of them, I use Waves plugins and on the other one, I use FabFilter. I asked you what plugins you want to see and these were the top contenders. But now I'm doing this for Cubase stock plugins. So the next thing we have is the exciter. So as you can see with this one, we can add a little bit of sheen to a vocal. Let's listen. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. Here we have an exciter and we also have the clarity of the exciter. I would say use this with caution because they are very addictive. Imagine this as an air EQ. This is what it does. I would be sparse with this, actually. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que... Something like this. Now, the next module is the saturator module. And this is very, very interesting. In essence, what you can do here is you can choose between tape, tube, and distortion, and you can get different types of saturation. 
I'm going to try a few of them and then I'm going to show you a really cool thing that you can do. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua. So that's tape. Let's try the tube. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. And I have to say, this tube sound is quite good. Owning a black box, which is in my opinion, one of the ultimate tube machines. This tube algorithm here sounds really nice. And then we have a distortion. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Now, of course, all of these are a little bit extreme. So what you can do is you can add, let's say the tube saturation here, and I'm going to add the drive, but I'm going to blend it in with the mix control. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo. So this will allow you to make a vocal sound like it was recorded with a colorful tube preamp or it was run through a nice tube compressor or a valve mic that was a little bit on the saturated side. So I can add just a little bit of Soy it. El fuego que arde tu piel. And here's the secret sauce that you can use with this plugin. That's why I said I'm gonna go deep. As you can see here, I have the filter bank. And when I activate it, I can apply this saturation to only a specific range of frequencies. If you're a Cubase user, you might have seen this in the FX modulator plugin. So let's say I wanted to add some warmth to this vocal. I could leave the top end alone and just go only here in the mid range and add my drive here in the mid range. Check it out. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy la espada que guarda el caudal. This is great because this allows you to get so many different sounds for your vocals. For example, if I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to my vocal, one thing that I would do is I would go to my tape algorithm and I would saturate a touch of the top end. Let's have a listen. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Don't add too much, but this is a really nice way to add some sheen to dull vocals. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. Lies. See how many different sounds I can get just by doing this. Okay, I'm gonna go for the tube now and I'm going to park it right here. I'm going to mix it just a tiny bit. Soy el fuego que arde tu and then we're going to move on to the second compressor. Now, in this case, what I tend to do is I tend to use this as a parallel compressor. In case up to this point, my vocal still doesn't sit well in the mix. What I like to do is I like to use the transparent or I like to use the extreme compressor or sometimes even the Vox comp and then I blend it in. Let's try the extreme first because this is interesting to listen to. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. Now this is clearly for parallel and I would use this for really aggressive pop styles, dance music for maybe hip hop. This would work very, very well. So I'm going to go and blend it in. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy la And okay, for my taste, this is way, way too compressed right now. So I would turn it off. And the next thing that we have is a dynamic filter number two. And this is so that it can tame your top end if there's still sibilance, if you want to use it as a high frequency compressor, pretty much. Again, these are tricks that I showed on the other videos. So let's play it. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. Let's exaggerate. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la... And one of the things that you can do now is 
Just add a second EQ. In this case, let's see what we're missing now. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. La... I'm going to add the P1A again and add a tiny bit of boost in the top end. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. And now let's add the final deesser in case we need it. Threshold. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. La espada que guarda el caudal. Tu el aire que respiro yo. Now, please bear in mind, this is a dry vocal. We don't listen to it in the context of an arrangement. So I would probably do other things if I had instruments, but I want you to hear what the plugin sounds like, right? So don't take this as a tutorial on how to mix this specific vocal. I want you to understand how the plugin works and what the philosophy is for every one of these modules. Now, the next thing that we have is the imager and the imager is an amazing tool for pop music if you want to make your vocals super wide. Pop vocals are like this, you know, like it or not, this is how it goes. So what I can do here is I can set the delay. And again, I've shown you how to do this manually. I have a video where I show you how to make things wide. And here we have control over the format and now I'm going to introduce it. Let's have a listen. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. La espada que guarda el caudal. Tu el aire que eres. So the more you add delay, the wider it sounds. And also the more format shift you add between the left and right channels, the wider the end result is going to be. Okay, I'm going to keep it right here. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. And as you can see now, the vocal sounds nice and wide. And then we're going to move on to the delay. Now, the delay is, again, something that could be a standalone plugin. What do you have here is you have three types of delay, mono, stereo, and ping pong. I'm going to go for ping pong in this case. You can sync into the tempo. In this case, I'm going to have it free. We have feedback, we have a docker, we have the release for the docker, and we have the scent gain. So let's activate it. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. And yeah, it sounds like a delay, but here's the magic sauce. And I'm going to show you all the magic sauces that this plugin has. Delays can really clutter your mix. So what you can do in order to help is you can use the docker to begin with. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. See, so the delay is ducked when the vocal is present and then slowly it comes back when the vocal stops. But there's more. If you want to make your delay sound more organic, what we can do is we can go here and we can again activate a filter bank. So what I like to do is make my delay darker. This will eliminate any sibilance coming through to the delay and making it sound harsh and you hear a tss, 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 tss and all these things. And also I'm going to filter the low end because I don't want my low end to be cluttered with the delay repeats. So let's have a listen now and see what a difference it makes. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. So you have a filter for the delay and here's another really cool thing that you can do. And this was one of my requests. You can send the delay to the reverb. So now if I want to, I can send this delay to the reverb. In order to listen to this, I'm going to activate my reverb and I'm going to add a little bit of send here. So let's listen to it and now listen to the delay. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. So now we're sending the delay to the reverb. Lots of routing possibilities right there. The other thing that I can do, let's go to the reverb 
And here you can see we have many different types of reverb. I'm gonna go for chamber warm and we have exactly the same controls. So let's add a little bit of reverb. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua. Darker as well. We have a pretty lay. And immediately what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a filter bank because I don't want these S's to go through my reverb. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. And now what I can do is I can send my reverb to my delay. Let's activate the delay and I'm going to make it quite long. And let's listen. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. So now the reverb goes to the delay and then we get this reverb delays. So you can create some really nice spacey vocals with vocal chains. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo Or of course you can just use them normally as you would. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. La espada que guarda el caudal. Tu el aire que respiro yo. Y la luz de la luna en el mar. La garganta cansio mojar que temo ahogar. So as you can see, one plugin to rule them all. We have everything that we need in order to get to a great vocal sound. Now before I leave you, I want to play a completely different vocal. This is a pop vocal and I want to show you some cool things that you can do with a pitch correct module. Let's listen without the vocal chain first. So this vocal is entirely processed with vocal chain, nothing else, everything is vocal chain. Now I want to show you the pitch because there are some nice tricks that you can do with the pitch correction. What you can do is you can of course detune and you can change the format and then you can blend this sound with the original vocal and this will give you some really contemporary vocal sounds. You will know exactly what I mean when I play this. So there you go my friends, I hope that now you have a good understanding of how vocal chain works. If you want to get started, please don't worry, go and load one of the presets. You will find my own presets in the preset menu. Just make sure you adjust the input level so that you get the optimum result and the preset works as it should. I hope this video helps you a little bit and if it does, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button, it really helps me out. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already because I'm doing a lot of videos like this. And if you want to support what I'm doing, you can also use the Super Thanks button or check out my instruments, the Apple expansion for patch up and the modern 80s drum kit you can buy one of these t-shirts they don't change colors but they're actually pretty cool or you can watch any of these videos right here because you might like them thanks so much and i'll see you in the next one bye bye